Good afternoon. Please welcome Huawei's Consumer Business Group CEO, Richard Yu, to share his insights for the connected frontier with us. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Richard. Thank it's you. So great to have you Thank on you. the keynote stage. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you, Okay, I'm going to go listen. Okay. It's the seventh year for me to be here in CES. And it's so exciting uh, moment that uh, start a new year in CES. So I'm really grateful that uh, uh, Gary and his team to give Huawei this opportunity to make an introduction of our, our ideas. Today, I want to share Huawei's passion to fuel innovation for the future. In the past, we are telecommunication equipment supplier. We are the largest uh, telecom equipment uh, supplier in the world. And we are serving more than one third of the world population. Actually, up to now, it's uh, maybe more than one third, maybe the 40% of the total population of the world. And our service coverage over 170 countries. So we provide the fixed broadband network in worldwide in over 170 countries. But many people every day they are using the service from Huawei. But they don't know that it's the equipment from Huawei because we stand behind the, the carrier operators. We provide a service for the carriers and bring that service to the consumers. We Huawei, that we are working on the infrastructure for, them, uh, for so many years, so we know the network and we deeply understand the telecommunication network, Nomex, a fixed broadband and a mobile broadband. And for Huawei consumer business, it's a new business for Huawei. If you see that five, six years ago, we are almost nothing. We just start our business. I, in charge of the, uh, this role for the CEO of our consumer business for uh, near six years now. You can see the, the last six years, we have quick growth. And the uh, last two years, we grow into the top three smartphone supplier. But the last year, we have even more growth. And the last year, our shipment of smartphone, we increased to 139 million smartphones globally. Our market share now is more than 10% now. Is roughly the 12% market share now, uh, up to the end of last year. So every month, every quarter, every month, uh, we are increasing our market share. And uh, so in our focus, maybe in the next one or two years, we have the chance to grow our market share to the top two. If you see that uh, six years ago, and our brand, uh, nobody knows Huawei's brand. So we start to promote our brand in recent years. Five years ago, out of brand awareness, almost zero, less than 3% even in China. Because we, are, we do the B2B business in the past, not the B2C business. But during the five, six years, after I, I in charge of Huawei consumer business, we make a decision to using our own brand, and um, from the low tier to middle tier and the high tier. And uh, nowadays, in two years ago, uh, we are ranked by in the brand as a top 100 brand in the world. The first time we were ranked, we were ranked number 88. And the last year in, in, in the brand, we are ranked number 72. And we are also ranked by brand Z and brand finance. Huawei, our brand is still continually growing. Huawei, the business is growing very fast. Even Huawei Group, year 2016, we also have 32% of growth of Huawei Group the revenue growth. And the Huawei consumer business, the last year, our growth even higher, 42%. But how can we achieve this fast growth? What makes us special? Three principles. The last 10 years, we invest 38 billion US dollars in the research and development. We put huge money on research and development. Every year, we put our revenue, 10 to 15% our revenue in the R&D. And the last year, we invest 9.2 billion US dollar on R&D, and we ranked number ninth on the R&D investment globally. And our R&D investment even higher than Apple, than Cisco, than some many famous companies. Rank number one is the Volkswagen. From every year, we are increasing our revenue, and every year we are increasing our R&D investment. So maybe in the next three, five years, we have the chance to be ranked number one on our investment in the worldwide. Because of the revenue every year we are increasing. Huawei is a different architecture, a different management style from the, the other companies. We call it the collective wisdom. 
were inspired by bees. They are not only intelligent, diligent, but also they are very flexible, disciplined, and adaptive. We call it teamwork. Uh, and uh, this is also the collective power. We get the best people and best resource, best people from worldwide. We have Andy in the United States, in Europe. We have many, several Andy centers in Europe. And also we have the, uh, Andy in Japan, in Russia, in India. We only take the best people from the industry. And Huawei, we are a globalized company and are headquartered in China, but uh, we are a global, globalized company. Around 170,000 employees, near 40% of them is not Chinese. We are not only working with this company, we are working with the industry, many uh, uh, leading companies in the world. For example, the Audi. We are working with Audi on the 4G, 4.5G, 5G connected car. The new Audi car have the 4G and 4.5G connected car module uh, from Huawei. For Huawei, we are always uh, focused on the meaningful innovations. The innovation should, uh, should bring the value to the consumers. For example, the chipset. You know Huawei, we design our own chipset. We are one of the leading companies in the world which can have the SOC chipset for the smartphone, for the tablet. Last year, we launched the Kirin 960. It's the most powerful, best-in-class performance and efficiency in the, the high-end chipset. It's also the world's first ARM Cortex-A73 CPU. And also, it's the, have the leading the Mali G, uh, GPU. We are the first vendor in the world to support the downlink 4CC, CAT12, the 4G and the 4.5G, the modem technology. On the modem technology, Huawei and the Qualcomm, the two the leader on this, in this industry. But for the CPU and the GPU and the ISP, and uh, we have our own ISP, the CPU and the GPU were a partnership with ARM to do the best innovation and the best technology. They will bring not only the best performance, but also low power consumption, high efficiency. So you know, few vendors can uh, design, can provide this kind of leading chipset in the world. So we're proud of Huawei, we can do that. Many people using Huawei smartphone, they feel that the battery life is much longer. You don't need a power bank. Our battery life is typically 50 to 150 uh, percent longer battery life than the, the, you know, the other flagship smartphones. How can we achieve this? We're proud of our power-saving technology, our software, our hardware algorithm and improvement. We also have the architecture design to let the ultra thin smartphone have the huge battery inside. You cannot imagine that in this ultra thin smartphone, we have 4,000 mAh battery inside. It's much thinner than the iPhone 7 Plus, but also much more compact body, more narrow, more slimmer, more shorter and more lighter, but we have more large battery inside. We're proud of our architecture design to make this difference. So it's really the 4,000 mAh battery, long battery life, but more importantly, this is typically for two days usage. We also have the super fast charging and a five amp charge, you know, uh, compared with the iPhone, the latest iPhone 7, 7 Plus, our charging speed four times faster than them. So that means that you need 20 or 30 minutes, you can charge it for a whole day usage. So it's really, really uh, fast. And the photo uh, photography technology, you know, we are continuing to invest on the new technology of photography, the dual camera. You know, after the other vendors launching the dual camera phones, we launched a new generation, second generation dual camera. So you're always one, one step ahead. With Huawei, the Leica dual camera, you can take a professional photo on your smartphone, Mate 9 and P9. You can take the, like the bouquet, like a professional cameras, and also uh, the optical room, and also Leica, traditional Leica black and white photo. Fingerprint, today you, know, you see the, the fingerprint everywhere, but uh, we, we're proud of the Huawei. We are the first one in this industry to introduce the single touch fingerprint on Android smartphone. And also, we are the first vendor in this industry to introducing the single touch fingerprint on Windows PC from the Huawei the MateBook. The last year we were working with, uh, uh, together with uh, Microsoft to do this. It's much more convenient than uh, in the past the fingerprint slide. 
That's not convenient at all. I just give you this example to show that Huawei, we are doing some differently. Even on the fingerprint on this flagship smartphone, we are using one finger, fingerprint one to replace the three virtual key inside the screen. So the less is more, we make it more simple, easy to use. <laughs> we uh, put so much resource in R&D in the software, and we, we are using a machine learning algorithm to optimize the Android 7.0, the performance with the Huawei the input optimize the machine learning algorithm. We solving the issue of the aging issue of Android smartphone. You, after you using Android smartphone, for half year later, one year later, one and a half year later, the phone will getting slower and slower. Because the phone will create a lot of file fragmentation. So by Huawei, the, the new machine learning algorithm, we can solve the aging issues for the Android OS and make the phones burn faster, but stay faster. Even after we make a comparison, after 18 months, our phones still uh, keep fast speed. They're not, not slow, slow now. Another uh, innovation is, uh, you know, that's uh, 5G. You know, why 5G? We are one of the leader on 5G. And we attended the, in, uh, the industry's uh, uh, standardization of, for 5G. And also we are working with the industry, the partner, uh, all the industry the companies uh, across the industry come to do the 5G analysis and the 5G usage for the whole, the whole industry. That's not only standardization, the spectrum allocation, the 5G pilot, the 5, 5G architecture design, everything. So we want to, working together with the industry, paving the way to 5G together with all the industry leading partners. So we are trying to do that is empowering the consumers to, with our innovation, our meaningful innovation, to enrich people's life. Technology is changing people's life. But what's the next? We see the human beings, the civilization. For 5,000 years, the agricultural uh, revolution, that's for basically the eating and living. From 200 years ago, industrial revolution, the people invented the machines. By this the machine, uh, they dramatically leverage the capability of the human beings. And also they invented the, the transportation, the cars. From 1990s, the computer was widely used and also the internet was invented. And by, from that time up to today, we call it the information revolution. Today, that everybody, uh, they are using taking a smartphone. You can get, get the information quickly. Every, the internet connecting everywhere. But the next five, 10 years, what's the next five, 10 years? The next five, 10 years, intelligent revolution, we call it. So intelligent world, so all things connected. Today, the 4G and 4.5G, and the 5G is coming. Everything is connected by the 5G, and all things are sensing and all things intelligent. And the future devices will bring the more natural experience with the AI services. We have two worlds, the digital world and the traditional the physical world. So the physical world, you have human beings ahead, your brain, your thinking, you will have vision, you have voice, you have touching all the sensor, you have nose, you can, you can touch the world, you can see the world. But the, from this interaction of the physical world and by all the sensors and all the connect to the digital world, with AI, you can make the seamless connection with the AI from the physical world to the digital world. Your phones, you're like a robot in future. So the intelligent phone is AI-based devices. They have computer vision, they have smart voice, you have all the taste sensor, all the air sensor, and the robot text, and also the, all the local decision, and with the cloud service all behind so this intelligent interaction through the vast amount of sensors to make all these AI-based devices is like the good connection from the digital world to the physical world. And also the IoT-based connectivity, that's the breakdown, the barrier with the physical world from, from the digital world. People living at home, in the office, and in the car, in the traveling, they are all connected, the physical world and the digital world, connected by this AI intelligent phone. In future, you know, by the behind the big data, the cloud services, the deep learning and the computing, 
So the decision-based cloud a cognition and decision-making through the big data and the machine learning. So that's really to bring the, the AI to everyone. We are also doing the learning-based chipset. But in future, we also can make the intelligent phone inside the local-based also have some uh, learning-based chipset to improve the efficiency. So our new generation chipset will have the intelligent processing core inside. Today, the CPU, the GPU, but in future, the new chipset will have NPU. We are providing the AI processing inside the, with the deep learning and the security and the low power consumption, more strong capability. We want to accelerate the smart devices evolution with the industry leaders. We want to bring some of today's AR, uh, AR, VR, AI is very popular. But Huawei, we want to partnership with the industry vendors to bring some of the, this kind of the new, new services, new innovations to today's smartphone. Huawei, Midnight Pro, we partnership with the industry leading vendors, Google, to support the Google Daydream services. Uh, Google, they are leading on this VR, AR, and Google Tango. But today, I'm um, uh, big honor for me to invite uh, Mr. Amit Singh, the VP of Google AR VR. Let's warmly welcome Amit on stage. Okay. Thank Amit, you. Thank you. You will make the introduction. Okay. Appreciate thank you. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. Super excited to be here. This has been a long time coming. Let me start by giving you a brief update on Daydream. Daydream is Google's stake and our new platform for immersive mobile high-performance virtual reality. Makes up a whole ecosystem of phones, smartphones, headsets and controllers so you can interact in your virtual world, and obviously great new apps, content, videos, games that you can enjoy while in that immersive VR experience. And when you go on the floor today, uh, you'll be able to experience Huawei's stake inspired by Dream View on building their own headset and controller something that's as simple, as easy to use, to be paired with Huawei phones, slip it right in, autofocus so you can actually use it without your glasses, an expressive controller. But that's not all. We're actually working closely with Huawei, just like we did in, in VR, to bring augmented reality to Huawei's lineup, using Tango technology for motion tracking, area learning, depth perception. So when you put up your phone, You'll be able to augment the real world very precisely with objects. Everything from Hot Wheel games that you can play with your kids, go shopping and, and you know, online so you can precisely place the TV in a space that you want to, uh, to place it at, and, and many, many more experiences that we're building through Tango. Thank you for your collaboration over the years, and welcome to the Daydream family. Thank you, Amit. Thank you. <laughs> you know, we are proud of uh, working with uh, leading vendors and uh, with VR, AR, VR, with uh, Google, too. Today, the AI service is becoming more and more popular. You know, Google has a Google Assistant, and Amazon, they launched the Amazon Echo and the Amazon Alexa. It's received very good uh, consumer feedback. Many people love, love this, this kind of service. I heard uh, Amazon, they also opened this Alexa API to the, all the service and all the apps interface. We're proud of, we are the first uh, industry, uh, in the industry, the first flagship smartphone which have the Alexa service inside. <laughs> After we launched the Huawei in Mate 9, we win a lot of the best smartphone award in Germany, in UK, in France, in Spain, in the Nordic countries, in, in Sweden, in many, many countries. Uh, here I list some of them. For example, in Germany, the chip, the area mobile, the connect all ranked Huawei Mate 9 as the best flagship smartphone. Uh, we launched the Mate 9, we received a, a lot of good feedback from the media. Some of them are saying that I will be using the Mate 9 extensively until the US release. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I hope, I hope the year 2017 
will be more exciting things will come in. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Welcome.